COVID-19 has shed light on the power of social media platforms to shape the global flow of online information. Their algorithms determine how content is found and disseminated. Yet, the black box nature of recommender algorithms and the lack of access to platform data make it difficult to reach firm conclusions about how algorithmic systems impact public discourse. Mm -hmm. We therefore need new forms of transparency to improve platform accountability and to enable evidence-based platform regulation. Yes. These transparency obligations need to be designed carefully, taking account of different platform functions. The Planned Digital Services Act presents a crucial opportunity to develop a harmonized transparency framework at the EU level, but a one-size-fits-all approach should be avoided. Instead, we believe that a tiered system of transparency solutions can be more effective. This requires the mapping of regulatory objectives and the specific transparency needs of all relevant stakeholders entitled to the information. In particular, this mapping exercise should explore the transparency needs of academia and civil society actors who are tasked with scrutinizing algorithms. Researchers currently face tremendous barriers when attempting to use platform data for public interest research. User-facing transparency should also be emphasized. One avenue is to obligate platforms to notify affected users of changes to the visibility and reach of their content. Such notifications would provide affected users content-specific information about downranking measures. Finally, effective transparency reforms must be underpinned by binding disclosure and data access obligations. Binding regulation is essential not only to ensure full cooperation by platforms, but also to make sure that initiatives aimed at improving platform transparency are themselves transparent. Mm 